hello everyone welcome to my channel today I have something some very interesting game to introduce you so do you know if you are gonna start playing this game or not this game is called so this game is called Titans and I must say <coughs> it is mostly Facebook oriented game because if you have friends on Facebook that play this game they can send you for example some fuel that is needed to attack other players and get resources so this is just mostly introduction video of this game but I will try to tell you some tips and tricks for your successful gameplay so when you if you decide to start playing this game to know what best to do in this game and I will try to make special video of this game with only real tips and tricks but for now I will concentrate on introduction of this game and some tips and tricks okay so whole concept of this game is to make and build and upgrade your base and when when you upgrade your base for example armory components and mac works all these things is to you have to get and have better better robots and then to be successful in attacking other players and mostly in this game that is mostly interesting is attacking players because it is not bl bl it is done in real time and I will show you later how battle looks like so it is where real fun is to attack other players because each player can build its base on their own for example I put uh, for example I put buildings and walls like this and put defenses here are my defenses like this so let me more introduction you this game here we are this is settings so like in real time strategy you can assign robots with shift and pressing number one and so to easily navigate through battle and select each robot you want to attack which target you want to they attack as you can see there are some languages others then you have at left side is global chat then your friends that play this game there are missions like in any other game don't worry this game is very nicely done when you start playing this game it is very nice to describe what you're gonna do with base what to upgrade how things works so I do not gonna tell you much about it just something to show you how game looks like because tutorial when you start playing this game is really really great then there is also clans for example here we are clans and I advise you to not join clan immediately because try to level up yourself to learn game little more and so when you get stronger to get in better clan and then there is real fun in battle with your friends in clan together so there are of course resources as you can see this is the main currency in game unfortunately let me show you to you if you want to create your own clan you're gonna need this amount of currency in game that is bought with real money or you can also you can also earn by finishing some missions so as you can see I have 100 so I can make my own clan but I don't want to because it is always nice to join 
more experienced players. Okay, so here are messages, for example. There are always some tournament on, as you can see. Then resources you put, resources you must put next to these things. And they, for example, let's collect these resources. Now let me show you some tips and tricks for this start. So main thing to successfully attack player and win battle against some player is to destroy its main building that is its her headquarters. So you must protect it as much as you can. As you can see I put around my headquarters turrets as you can see around it everyone is around it and also you can put your robots to defend them as you can see here is uh, as you can see circle is yellow that means its range of that turret and to for example let me show you turret how looks like to modify on each turret you can put any any for example <coughs> any any uh, let's let's get this one any any weapon you want and i advise you to combine weapons to not use same weapons on all turrets because every weapon have their advantages like a larger area of fire then splash area that hit targets that are very close to each other for example don't worry your base is gonna be attacked also because you have resources and for example I killed as you can see I destroyed enemy and this is what remained from it some fuel and fuel let's collect it because I destroyed and he didn't successfully attack my city and fuel is this fuel ne you need to attack other players and don't worry fuel regener re regenerates over time so don't worry you will always have some fuel and always have some fun to attack other players to take resources so you could upgrade your buildings and components so your robots get much stronger so for example what more i can show you armory here you can upgrade armory robot weapons robot shields robot armory each of it as you can see have very 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 nicely described and something very interesting in this game is each weapon or equipment have its own weight as you can see weight and you must be careful about weight because not every robot can have big capacity for weight so for example let me show you my strike force you can have three strike forces but only one to be your strongest strike force so you could be to use to attack other players to attack other players you must select th this main strike force so don't select this strike force for example then you will be you you will not attack with your strongest robots i use anaconda for example let me this is total weight of all my robots and for example let me show you each robot can be e so let me show you that each robot can be equipped with anything you want everything you discovered and so and so you'll be successful in battle so for example i advise you to not use same weapons on all robots 
for example I use machine guns because they have very big fast rate of fire but not big range and but very nicely damage done for example this weapon as you can see statistics this for example statistics of this weapon and there are more others weapons that you can unlock so I advise you to use machine guns on for example two robots and on three robots to use some sort of I would say some artillery thing some missile thing for example here we are and let's have now I can now see that I can have four level four for this baby robot my baby robot <laughs> so to say and then you can just click modify because and needs resources for it let's use modify and now it that robot is stronger but weight is increased because with each level of weapon or other things the weight will be increased also there are shields you can put everything you can describe in to not spend much time to show you about where you gonna get it so for example here what this shield doing this shield what it is best for and many others to unlock now let me show you how what many of what others of robots you can unlock so let's go to mac factory construct to various construct robots and here we are so for now i discovered only these robots and i advise you to use only if you get it to use only anaconda and one scorpion scorpion is good as artillery support and only one of it is enough because you're gonna need more firepower from close range and anaconda is best don't i advise you to do not use puma robot even if you discovered it because it is very lightly in armor and shield than anaconda for example but it is on but it, it is very fast but in in this game you do not need very fast robots okay now let me show you how other robots looks like okay. that i didn't unfortunately still didn't unlock it don't worry if you play this game and like this game you will very fast unlock many stronger robots let's see how many other robots out out there to discover very very interesting robots and this one is probably the ultimate robot uh, or something like this so there are your this is your main building that also can defend itself let's go to dock to construct also let me show you i advise you to put defense like this <coughs> so defend to put around your headquarters this is another tips and tricks for you around your headquarters you put all these defense turrets I, for one turret I have this artillery weapon for others is machine gun and for one I put something that is fire missiles so also then put some guard post where you can put your robots you want 
that will def that will gonna in be in defense <coughs> of your town. So only these robots will be in defense of your town, not this one. This will only be used when you attack other players and cannot be killed if someone gonna attack you. So this is for example robots that I uh, use to defend my and I also yes yeah, tips and tricks to tell you so around headquarters you put as many buildings as you can as you can see I have this building this building this building all around it so it is to enemy successfully finish in destroying my town he must destroy my headquarters and to get to my headquarters for him he will be it will be very hard because many buildings is around him so it must destroy these buildings to get to my headquarters and uh, and while destroying he these buildings and these walls my turrets will destroy enemy as you can see i destroyed him already here so from here i already destroyed my enemy okay so let me what more I can show you soon I will be telling you how battle looks like that is really fun in this game so I advise you to upgrade your walls as much as you can for example it takes resources because then it will be very hard to enemy destroy them very easily and also I advise you to use this Tesla trap and this is you can zoom in and zoom out with scroll button on your mouse is zooming in and zoom out and I, as you can see I put them around this part my city and every robot passes by will be taking damage from my this Tesla trap and I intentionally put them like this so enemy come from this side and from this side they will be very very hard to take my headquarters because this building where this building have very big health points so it will be very hard for him to destroy it and my turrets will be then destroyed then okay let's for example see if we can upgrade a little more of our troops for battle to be ready for battle that i'll be showing you mm, statistics is better this one yes let's take level 4 modify and will be applied changes still we can upgrade more let's upgrade it takes a lot of resources but that is permanent so it will be always upgraded your so only first time it needs a lot of resources be and then you don't have to do all the time because it will be permanent always be with those weapons and <coughs> and so don't worry those robots that you use to attack other players cannot be destroyed it's if someone attack your base so don't worry about it and for example I use four, five anacons and one scorpion as support as artillery support okay now let me show you s what is really about about this game that is really fun and that is attacking other players just go to raid and here we are we are at map where you can find enemies to attack you can also attack these things that go around and get some resources but I don't advise you because they give very little resources but 
at start you're gonna it is very useful okay so now in other interesting thing other interesting thing is to choose who to attack and I advise you to attack players that are below your level as much as you can or uh, exact your level or similar to your level but best if you get if you find players that are lower of your level now we don't have lower level than us for example here we are this player is level 18 and we are level 12 so i think it will be good target but probably not too much resources just click it and see how many resources you wanna get and for example rating as you can see you can read what you're gonna get this is player's defense rating how he successfully defended its base so I advise you to attack players with low amount or percent of rating because they didn't build very good base and probably you will get successful okay and yes something very interesting that I forget to tell you is mercenaries you can hire robots that only will be in one attack on players so after that attack they will be disappeared so for example let's hire some mercenaries you can see how much resources is needed to hire and of course premium but i don't advise you to use that because these currents these credits main currency in game is really needed for other things so to save it and really don't need to be successful to to hire this robot so but let's hire so and what mercenaries best do you use just look how much mercenary have durability and shields amount so for example these have 1000 500 durability about and shields about 500 this one have shields lower and this one have even lower statistics but this one have the best so let's hire him hire him and we can of course hire some anaconda for example this one is very nice and let's hire don't don't hire puma at all because they are very fast and they will come to base very fast before your troops before your other robots and get killed very fast let's hire this one you can have mutual aid that clan members can help you in attacking other players unfortunately i'm not in clan because i didn't play this game for some time okay we are ready to attack some base let's see how this base looks like 100 percent he is good at defending its base i don't want to attack him <laughs> let's attack this baby and click explore and fun can be gone <coughs> and first of all you must see from which to decide from which direction you wanna attack this player so as you can see every player put buildings as they want so it is really tactical game so you must protect your base in good way and my way proven very nicely as you can see how i built my base he didn't put very good this base because i can easily come from this direction and destroy its cut and one 
but also you do not have to to get resources you don't have to destroy its headquarters you can destroy his depot or resources mines and get resources also even if you don't win battle you will get resources from each destroyed of those buildings resources buildings you destroyed okay so best and you now choose from which direction you gonna put your robots to attack and best direction is from here so from here to attack let's select this one click attack and something interesting is you have only one minute to deploy your robots after one minute battle is lost so you must deploy your robots very fast okay let's deploy them just click on it okay this one yes this one this one and now let's deploy some mercenaries mercenaries you can put as you can see this is you can only put them around your already put it off and here we are mercenaries you cannot you cannot move your mercenaries they going on their own and to move your robots is done by left click mouse button so you move them with less left click mouse button and party can be started as you can see this game have very 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 beautiful graphics it will be very easy win for us as you can see walls are pretty much let's take this one to destroy its turrets okay let's start it's very defended with walls let's start the main thing to do is to destroy its headquarters and to win to don't spend time destroying other turrets because we don't okay we destroyed walls so we can penetrate through headquarters attack headquarters of course you can zoom out it is really 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 nice graphics and here we are we won Also, we can destroy other buildings. Just okay. So here we are. Let's help it. Yes, uh, not not just headquarters. You need to destroy. You need to destroy also some buildings, some other buildings to get win. But it will be easy destroying them because we destroyed all its defenses now it also it, there is time as you can see there is three stars you must accomplish to win this battle you move our map by holding and we won by moving left mouse button everything is done with left mouse button and here we are we are victorious bonus for survivors and what amount of resources we get also what rating we also get and what more we get something some model we get also and continue very very nice i hope you enjoyed in this battle this is the real main part of game that that is really fun and that is attacking other players and we go to base let's go to base to see and here we are and as you can see even we lost our robots even when we lost our robots in battle they are still here 
so there you don't have to build them every time you lost robots so in in combat against other players and as you can see mercenaries you have to hire them again and as you can see we have now many resources okay that would be it for this video let me now show you some more interesting there are also armory where you can discover and research better armory then better components like like for example engines to be more uh, increases the damage to shields and something like that and here you are progress of discovering new robots as you can see what I need to discover discovered so for example uh, when you click here it is very well very well descri described sorry described what you're gonna need to discover this robot mac factor level 6 and this amount of resources and how much days gonna need to be discovered so for example Hector let's see some how looks like many many robots you can discover as you can see many 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 so very very nice very 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 nice game let's see this baby how looks like a <laughs> monster real monster many many robots and don't discourage you to you gonna need a lot of time to discover them because this game if you attack players very often you will always have resources and you can discover them very fast so for example you can upgrade this building everything is very well described as you can see and i think i also there are some side side tasks that you can finish and get some resources resources you get from this also and collect every day let's get this thing okay destroy and that would be it sorry for maybe a little longer video but i hope you enjoyed and i hope you will now have more pr better perspective to know if you're gonna start playing this game or not it is really fun playing this game when you in some clan i didn't play this game for some time so they <laughs> put me out of my clan so that would be it the whole point as you can see now we have fuel only about 40 and as you can see how much it re regenerates and also friends can send you and you can send them gifts for example to give you fuels don't no need too much to wait because fuel very fast regenerate so for example while while you in some battle already fuel is very nicely regenerate so all you you can play this game as much as you can with no not too much time to wait to attack other players i don't know to i yeah i don't want to show you another battles against other players because i think this for example let me show you this uranium mine have some doesn't collect because it exhausted exhausted mine so i have to put him somewhere else and let's put him now it show me where i can put it mm, let's put him here and now works also here when you hear when you see a red button let's, let's destroy that means that resource 
it, it doesn't collect. So let's move this resource is mine. For example, let's put him here. And as you can see, no more red message. And I don't want to show you again how it looks like battle against other players because I already made this big video. No need to tell you about things uh, what every as you can see you can put armor on inch on each of your building you can put armor you discovered so this about base to build is just fine to be de very well dependent as you can see how I built my base I advise you to build you also I played this game for few months about three or four months I played this game so and it, 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 it is proven very 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 nice to defend this part that I put it building buildings like this of course if enemy attacks you from this side and destroy your resource resource buildings it will take some resources but not too much only resources that you didn't collect for example I collect these resources so you so you there is some sacrifice and some lost but not so big big is only when enemy destroy your card quarters okay that would be it for this video I hope you enjoyed and I hope I made you possible to to this to describe you this game in good way and I hope I hope you will decide to play this game or not maybe and of course as some little support for me and wha for what I'm doing on my YouTube channel please subscribe to my channel every support is nice leave some like on videos I have many other videos of other games that I think is really worth to spend time and play them so check them out and of course if you somewhere stuck in game and don't know what to do in game or have some questions about this game or other games just put comments on those videos and I will answer you on my YouTube channel thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and of course subscribe to my channel some little support Every support is nice and that would be it. See you next time. Bye.